Merry Christmas. We are going to show you how to embroider some stockings. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah! Yeah! Oh. yeah. yeah. Stick around and we'll show you how we go about embroidering I stockings. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And hit that bell and like. But it also turn on all notifications. And hit it. <laughs> Alright, so we have four stockings. This is our second one time. for each of the kiddos and one for Apollo, our beloved dog that ate then some Christmas just, cookies. He just ate a cookie. And yes. he just put it up. And he's ground. He is. Be sure to check out our link down in the description. We have a promo code for $100 off on a single head and $250 off on a multiple head for a Recoma machine. And what it will do is kick a little bit of a commission our way. So that way we can continue to make videos such as these. It'll help support the channel and us as a small business. So we have our designs that I, I put together in the computer and Apollo. we have our run sheets for our different colors. Let me show you how we'll go about hooping these and then we'll put them on the embroidery machine and we'll let them sew out. We're gonna take our B size hoop. I did take a little bit of a measurement to make sure we're not gonna be too large on these. What I ended up with for these particular stockings was three and a half inches wide by one and a half tall. So I'm gonna take some cutaway backing and we wanna make sure this is right facing up so we know it's gonna go this way. So we're going to take our stockings. We know we want the names to go here. We got some pretty cool designs all set up. And in order to make this a little easier on myself, I'm gonna take some masking tape. I'm gonna put it here. And if we unfold this, you can see that it's on the wrong side. So we're just gonna flip this inside out. Isn't that right? Yeah. So much excitement. And we know we want it to go there. So I'm gonna take my embroidery hoop here. We're just gonna to toss it inside. We're probably gonna to need to open this up quite a bit. That way we can hoop it. And we'll take a piece of backing material. AKA stabilizer. So I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit. So that way it still fits inside the hoop and make it a little easier to stick it inside the stocking. There we go. We'll toss our hoop in, put in our stabilizer. We're gonna try and get this all centered up. And we're just gonna try and find the center of the stocking. <laughs> People are already popping fireworks. <laughs> it's like a car just blew up. <laughs> it is, isn't it? And just take your time with this. We're gonna try and get it as straight as we can. And we're gonna take off our piece of masking tape. Something very important that we are going to need is some aqua top. So we're gonna cut off just enough so that way the stitches do just sit on top of the fabric rather than sinking down because this is a pretty coarse knit. And the kids have already lost interest. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this in half. Now we'll take our hoop and we wanna make sure our hoop is facing we got this little top part here facing towards the machine. And then we're gonna try and square this up the best we can. I'm just gonna use some of these lines here and here. And we're gonna cinch it on down. We just wanna make sure this is seated fully. And then we'll just snug it up over here. That way it doesn't end up coming out of the hoop. Something that will help you not to lose track is to write the orientation in which once it's in its normal, you know, once it's folded the other direction, once it's not folded inside out, um, you can see that it does need to be upside down. So we're gonna take this and stick it in the machine. We're gonna open it up and we're going to feed it into the machine. All right, now that we're all hooped up, we're going to go ahead and load this into the machine. And we're going to feed the stocking in here. It's gonna make sure that our stocking is going over the bobbin arm here. Now we're going to go into the machine and we're going to transfer over our file from our USB. And let's start out with the firstborn's design. We're gonna transfer it over to the machine. We'll go ahead and transfer the rest of the designs over as well. But we're gonna go to our machine and then we're going to find Madison's design here. We'll hit okay. And then we're gonna set it up for our hoop, which we are using the B hoop. And now we just wanna make sure this is upside down. So we're gonna hit the, the 180, we're gonna hit okay. And now we need to punch in our the red colors. All right, so with Maddie's design, we're gonna start out with the white, do the green, and then do our red. On our machine, we have 
our white on number one, we have our green on 11, and we have our red on number three. So we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna lock the embroidery status. Now we're going to trace this off just to make sure that that's exactly where we want it to be. Let's try that again. So I think we can probably move our design just a little bit, a little bit higher. We'll try and get it as centered as possible. Apollo is freezing. All right, I think that's pretty good. What do you think, Madison? You want to go ahead and hit the the start button? Three, two, one. Jeez, take it easy there. Yeah. This is my shot. Hello. Is this Maddie? Who's talking? Is this my stocking? <laughs> So what do you think, Madison? How's it looking so far? Pretty cool. You're doing the jiggity jaggies. Oh wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was fast, huh? Okay, let's take a look at it. It's it's ready because it has green. Yeah, it is ready. Wow. Okay, let's take it off the machine. We'll take a look at it. I'm just going to unhoop this. Yeah. And it punched through this enough towards where we can just peel this right off. <gasps> it's perfect. <laughs> you think so? And then we'll take our scissors here. I'm gonna take our, so I did do the cutaway stabilizer. And we'll just trim this. And I'm just trimming off the excess thread. Kind of clean extra it up just a little. Thread. Yeah, the extra thread. Okay. Now let's fold it inside out and hopefully we won't have a Mr. Rogers incident here in which I would have a crying child on my hand. <laughs> there we go. What do you think about that, Maddie? Let me, let me cool. get rid of some of this here in which we could use water to, to get rid of it. But there we are. I think it came out pretty awesome. What do you hey. think? <laughs> okay, now it's Mac's turn. We got the design all loaded up. We traced it off. Mac, hit the green button. You don't want to put your fingers in that because and then you're going to get really hurt. That's an important safety tip. The candy cane. True. So we did punch through our topping a little bit. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to hit stop on the machine and we're going to back it up just a little bit. So that yeah. way we can make sure the embroidery does sit on top of the stocking. Now I'm going to take just a little bit more stabilizer and I did hit the trim button here. And we're going to put this stabilizer or this aqua topping. We're going to put this aqua topping here on the top. And we're going to hit start. And we'll let it start again. In hopes that we can get this to actually sit on top this time. Yeah. There we go. That's looking much better. getting pretty close to being done. Uh -huh. Now it's gonna do the white, and I think we'll be all finished. Yeah. Okay, we're all done, Mac. Uh-huh. You don't have to hit stop. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's right, we can take it off now. We'll try, let's see, we'll get it out of the hoop. And it looks kind of Good. It's not upside down. That is good. It's not upside down. It's supposed to be upside down though. <laughs> Why? Okay. Why upside down? Because <laughs> then your name's gonna be upside down. Oh. We're rushing it just a little too much, yeah, aren't we? I think we did make it even All right, that's cool though because we can hang it up like this. It's not a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem. So we'll cut this stabilizer out. Uh, okay, we got Scarlet's on here. We're not gonna pull the Mr. Rogers like we did on Bubba's, but that's okay, because we told him that it just means he's got more room for candy from Santa Claus and little toys, right? <laughs> okay, go ahead and hit the start oh. button. Okay, Scarlet, do you wanna hit the green button and start it? Okay, I'll yeah, press it. You can't use it. <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> It's a crying baby. Okay, let's check this out. Watch. This is going to be so cool. All right, Scarlet's is all done. 
Scarlet. <laughs> well, she took off. Gonna peel this out real quick. Hopefully avoid having to use any water on this one. All right, we got ourselves a winner. All right, so Apollo's turn next to do his stocking. What do you think, Apollo? All right, let's do it. All right, so we got Apollo's design all set. Let's go ahead and run it off. What do you think, buddy? Go ahead and hit that start button. All right, Apollo, come here. Look, yours is all finished, buddy. What do you think about that? Apollo, what do you think, dude? Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> thanks for tuning in that was a lot of fun this was just a little last minute project we decided to do but the kids are tired it's getting a little cold we're gonna get them home hang these stockings so that way santa can come fill them with candy and some toys little stocking stuffers if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you have any questions let us know what you think until next time, we'll see you later. Merry Christmas, everybody.